Hey everybody. So today we're going to be talking about a unique model. It's called Mamba. And so uh, Mamba is linear time sequence modeling with selective state spaces. And uh, it's put out by Carnegie Mellon University and Princeton. Uh, and then what makes Mamba unique is the fact that it is not transformer based. It's RNN based. Uh, so like recurrent neural network, uh, which is like the architecture before attention is all you need and before transformers came out rnns were the big deal like uh and then attention is all you need came out and then everyone switched to transformers but since then there's still been kind of like talk around rnns so uh, to me there's always like uh, this there's always a um like a format war when it comes to anything like this right like so it's uh if you're old like me then you could remember even back to like uh, the VHS and uh, versus beta uh, and then past that you had like blu-ray and HD DVD uh, And then now it's RNN and transformers like that's what it's going to be uh, That's what it's a breakdown to uh, and and so the question is is like is uh, The like locked attention of transformers all you need or like can you use RNNs with a variable attention mechanism, which is essentially what this um, model is doing. And so reviewing the paper, it's interesting. So if you, th there's a lot to unpack around this. Uh, they have their GitHub repository, they have the paper, and they also have a demo of the model, of a model. Uh, and then so within the GitHub repository, you can see here, they base it off of the paper. Uh, and then when you read the paper and you read the like uh, further here, they say that they mentioned they they base it off of the um, section three of this paper. So this paper it dives into first of all it has uh, state space models, so it's a lot of math. <laughs> and then but it's uh, so state space models, and then you scroll down uh, to three, and then they have selected state space models, which are like a kind of a, an improvement over state space models. And then again, these are all. RNN type of architectures and, and variants of RNN architecture. Um, and then so going through, this is the what they're modeling um, Mamba off of. And then so it's selective space, state, state space models. Um, and then essentially what they break down is that, uh, and what the model does, like the selective state spacing is for compression. And it states that like, uh, it gives the model like parameters and conditions to which it can compress data and choose to compress data or not compress data. So it's uh, effectively like a variable attention mechanism and the model gets to determine its level of attention. <clears throat> and if you know it, like, so one thing with RNNs, like the, the, <clears throat> the Achilles heel, and I should point this out up front before we do any sort of demoing of the model whatsoever with RNN models is that they, can function well, but when you get to like larger inputs, like the like what we're seeing now with like these huge context windows, uh, RNN models like they particularly struggle in this in that area in particular, right? And then so um, keeping that in mind, I think that this paper is interesting overall. And then the other interesting thing that, thing that I do want to point out as well before we dive into uh, looking at this model is that this like the demo of this model is that this model is. I think around like 1, 1.3 billion parameters. So this is a very lightweight model, uh, especially compared to anything else that we would be typically running. Like if you look at the resources here, uh, it's running, uh, it's utilizing and it's fully loaded in now, uh, 1.8 gigs of system RAM and 5.6 gigs of uh, GPU. Uh, and then so that's far less than even like five 1.5 would be utilizing more resources than this. So, um, it's the the unique thing about this architecture up front, and I think why it draws a lot of people in is that it's like uh, it is uh, far less resource intensive than transformers, um, and that's kind of like a big thing with this architecture up front. <clears throat> and then so, looking at the uh, Mama Chat demo, I didn't set this up. This is by Mama Chat. Uh, they someone created this Mama Chat demo, uh, and then so it's just. Uh, a few pip installs, a uh, pip install of causal convid, and then as well as uh, Mamba SSM. Uh, and then so uh, you install that, and then this will install quite a few lines of code here. Uh, and then they have this, which is interesting, this uh, fixed Python environment. I haven't gone through and, and gone through exactly what exactly what this does. 
Um, but so this is kind of an interesting um, piece of code that they have within here. So just highlighting it and pointing it out. Uh, again, I didn't create this uh, demo environment uh, and it doesn't seem to do a lot when you run the code. But so um, other than that, it, this is really straightforward. Um, it's the model itself. I will point out it's interesting uh, and I, it's a, I, I think because there's not a tokenizer that exists for this model because I, I know that because I, I, this is why I'm using their demo environment as opposed to mine because I ran into this problem uh, is that uh, so they're using the uh, Zephyr 7B beta tokenizer. Um, so the model is is the Mamba it's the Mamba model, but the tokenizer that they're using is the Zephyr 7B tokenizer, uh, and then same thing model is the Mamba model. Um, but so it's just interesting like they don't have a tokenizer for the model yet is kind of what that is pointing out. Uh, and then so we load it. Uh, and then they give us essentially how they, I, I don't like doing this uh, generally with the like um, creating loops, but this is how they set up their prompt is it's kind of a loop. So we have the loop running right now. And then so I can create my message uh, and then I can say like, what is the capital of France? Uh, so what is the capital of Japan? I expect a quick answer. Uh, this is a, a short question. So it should take a few seconds, I would imagine in order for it to generate a response here. Uh, and, and there we go. Uh, Tokyo is the, is the capital of Japan. Uh, and then so other thing to keep in mind with this is that it does keep the context window as well, right? So of France. So and that's what, another reason why I don't like this loop is especially with that is like it's going to get worse and worse with its outputs. Um, Paris is the output of France. That's correct. Um, hello. If I give it essentially like See, uh, enough, uh, I'm not capable of having a conversation with you however I can provide information you requested. Uh, it, essentially what I'm trying to get at here is if I have enough, if I get it to produce enough outputs, it's essentially going to get stuck uh, and then it's not going to like generate uh, further outputs and, with this loop. So, the, And there's a few reasons for that. One is that the way that this loop is set up with the way that they're prompting this where it's keeping this context window here. Uh, which highlights in so problem number two is that that highlights and builds on the inherent problem with RNNs of the context window. Um, and let's see, I can try to like uh, get like a lot of text in here in order to like get it to start that loop. I think this is going to take a while for that to generate through. But so you have the problem again of this loop of this looping prompt plus the RNN model, plus the fact that this is again, like a very low parameter model, like 1.3 billion parameters. This is far lower in parameters than models that I typically uh, review. But look at this output. Like the thing is, is, is the output, right? So uh, I'm sure here's a, fi a short fictional story. Once upon a time, there's a little girl named Alice who lives in a small town in the country. She loves to play outside and spend time with her family. And one day Alice was playing in the garden when she accidentally stepped on a thorn. The thorn pierced her foot and caused her to cry out in pain. Alice's mother heard her cry and rushed to her side. She examined the thorn and found that it was sharp and dangerous. She quickly took Alice to the doctor who removed the thorn and cleaned the wound. Alice was relieved to be healed, but she was also sad that she had caused her mother so much worry. She promised herself that she would always be careful and avoid stepping on thorns in the future. So very coherent text, right? And then especially again, highlighting this is a 1.3 billion parameter model. Uh, and then everything about this is cheaper than Transformers overall. Like the, the, uh, training of the Mamba model, that, that, that's another thing that they go into as well, like this model converges so quickly, it's not even funny, like, um, so it's interesting. And so I'll link the, the um, description for the demo here uh, in the chat. So anyone can demo this and play around with it. I encourage you to play around with this particular model uh, and get familiar with it. And then, so if you're not familiar with like RNN based models, uh, as opposed to Transformers, just know that like, there is a competing architecture to Transformers uh, that does exist. Um, I, like, I'm not going to say at this point definitively that like RNN uh, models can actually hold a candle to Transformers because that's like Transformers were like the evolution of RNN, right? But since that evolution of Transformers has taken place, evolution of RNN has taken place as well. So it's hard. Uh, it's a hard debate to have overall from the technical end. Uh, and then so I think like that's a, explicitly why you'll see this um, schism of and it, it seems to happen every single time with and no matter what the technology is. Right. There's going to be two competing 
um, like frameworks and which one is going to be the dominant one. I don't know. Is it going to be RNNs or transformers? It'll be an interesting debate. Um, and so if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.